What happens if two groups come after Whoa, me? Whoa, what is nope, that? Looks like is that a hedgehound? Yeah, is hedgehound. Hedgehounds. Hedgehog <laughs> hounds. Hence the spikes. They look like they're modeled after the hy hyenas from uh, Lion King. <laughs> well, this kid is sort of Lion King kid. Let's go check out this house. I'm just gonna wander around. And fight Does that mean that his father was an actual stuff? lion man and his mother was human? What's going Probably. on here? Oh, what did I ever do to you? I ask. Oh my goody goodness! Oh, you rotten devil of a thing, you! Evan, mm -hmm. come on. Dealing with airborne enemies. Some enemies can fly, making them tricky to deal with. It won't be possible to hit them with a regular attack while in the air. They need to be brought down low with mid-air attacks. So I gotta jump while attacking. Ranged weapons can also Come be effective. On. What are weapons doing all the way out here anyway? I don't know what the second half of her thing was, but so that's what they have as wyverns. Huh. I thought that wyverns were always like dragons with the wings for arms. Uh. Uh, it's coming back! <laughs> Go, Kodamas! Uh. Gosh! What in the. Oh, you two! You can see my little lovelies, can you? Why not have them lend you a hand? Getting your higgledy <laughs> friends to help. Uh, higgledy? Yep. <laughs> During battle. I mean, the, the the previous kingdom was called, what was it again? Higgledies? No, oh, no, no, Ding no. Dong Dell? Yeah, Ding Dong Dell. Like, <laughs> after I heard that, I'm like, oh, there's going to be some goofy names in this game. Anyway. During battle, Higgledies will automatically back you up by attacking, defending, healing, and performing various other actions based on their type. Sometimes they'll give you the go-ahead to issue special orders that will... See them perform incredible super-powered skills. Just run up and press A to activate them. Certain other Higgledies will allow you to absorb them by holding down the button for your character's spells and abilities, therefore changing and improving their effects. Wait, you absorb them? Then they don't they die? I don't know. You can check how many Higgledies of which element will be necessary to enhance a skill in this way in the Equipment and Skills menu. Experiment to find some killer combos. So, if she made a comment about you being able to see them, maybe they're sort of like spirits that only persons with uh, magical oh, ability or That's some kind of... Need a little help here! Oi! What are you doing, Diz? Not this way! <laughs> Almost! Yes. That was a little easier. Excuse me. Are you all right? Oh my. Oh me, oh my. That was a close one. And no mistake. I don't know what I would have done if you two lovely boys hadn't come wandering by. I'm Martha, by the way. Auntie Martha, to those who take a shine to it. Or to those I take a shine to. And I'm pleased to say, I've taken a shine to you. Come on, then. We're going to my house. I must give you a little something to say thank you. Here's an army. <laughs> They're weird looking. <laughs> right -o. Here we are. It's not much, but it's home. In you come. <laughs> oh, gosh, all the little cuties. Pass it gently. Thanks ever so much. You two really did save my bacon back there. I never expected to see a woman so close to home. Honestly, a girl can't even go out picking herbs in peace these days. Uh, so these little creatures of yours, are they monsters? Oi! 
Oh, you cheeky so-and-so. No, they are not. They're, well, they're more phenomena than anything, I suppose. That's you. Oh, really? Yeah, Evan. Oh, okay, it's just focused on him, so I, I got confused. I know, Phenomena? That's right, dear. There's the wind, isn't there? And fire, and rain, and such like. They're all natural phenomena. And when those phenomena decide to grow heads and legs and start running around being adorable, they become Higglides. So, where are you off to? And when you got waylaid helping out an old Lady Martha anyway, I don't often get visitors around these parts. We're not on our way to the King's Cradle Beyond. Or, we were. Sorry, I'm getting all confuzzled with all the activity. Look at all the cuties! Higgled it. Oh, man. I'm just expecting them to rattle their heads, though. We were on our way to the King's Cradle Beyond Cloud Coil Canyon. <gasps> no, really? Just the two of you? Going into that den of despicable sky pirates? Huh? Sky pirates? Oh, it's Ghibli. There has to be sky pirates. Of course there are. Good-natured ones. They're going to be. They're nature? going to join us. We're going to go there, and they're going to be like hearts of gold, and join us immediately. <laughs> we have to. Well, no. I have to, dear. Absolutely, positively have to. Hmm. Absolutely, positively, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, you'd better take some of my little lovelies with you. They've been a little thirsty for blood lately and I haven't <laughs> been able to supply. <laughs> hmm? Really? Oh, that one has a little Higgle. scarf. Runcible? Higgle Piggle! <laughs> you really don't mind? Certainly. It's the least I can do. You've shown me that you'll treat them kindly. And best of all, that you'll put them to good use. Thank you. Thank you very much, Auntie Martha. I'll feel a lot better with these little guys backing us up. Wonderful. And if you ever have any questions about them, you just come and ask me, you hear? Higgledy befriended. Runcible the Righteous has decided to join you on your adventure. The Righteous? <laughs> oh, what makes him righteous? oh, I like this. Higgle Piggle. Higgle Piggle, Higgle Piggle. Okay, well, I assume there's nothing else to muck around with. Why don't you talk to here. the different ones and see if they have different languages or something? <laughs> Higgle. 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 They're Pokemon. Higgle. 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 What do you think these things feel like if you touch them? Self-satisfying? Praying. Pig. Wait, so is that holy or light magic? Bragging. Okay. Doing ceremony? Ah. Uh. Higgle. 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 Okay. Okay, enough with the... Enough with the Higgle Piggles. <laughs> the little. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, you got a safe spot. Also, I'm glad I'm no longer doing Martha's voice, because unfortunately when you're trying to sound, like, old and gravelly... Uh, then Sorry. again, you probably have to fluctuate your voice a lot. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's for worse for Ash of Gods. This is tolerable. So I'm going to wander around a little bit. It does mean that we might get into a couple of battles. I'll do my best. I'm looking forward to when you have to voice act the rat people. Oh, you I mean want to hear your accent. My vaguely uh villainous voices. I got to remember to use the uh kadama. Oh yeah. So it's uh-oh. You're approaching a river, and it looks like you're going up above it, it's a cliff. Fine. Yeah. 
Okay, are the... Yep, the Kadamas are waiting for me. Oh, so you picked them up? Need a or... help here. Whoa! It made a cannon? <laughs> <laughs> Yay, for... A little, little excessive! Little turrets! I like them! Victory! Oh, I have a new gun, apparently. Oh, oh, this is cool. I like the map. Whoa, is there a boss monster on there? I thought I saw something in purple. I'm not entirely sure. I have a puzzling brawler. Slight chance of confusing enemies. Higgledy balls heal MP a little. Ooh, helpful. Oh. Huh. Do I have any... No new weapons, though. So sold on this game right now. This game is really good. It's really cute. Yeah, it's really cute. It's really charming. I... Uh, I have yet to see any particularly anime tropes, except for the, like, move out of the way and watch me die. Yeah, I mean, the mentor character typically goes. Yeah. I'll do my best. <laughs> but, I, if you want to play a game that's, uh, I mean, it is straight up Ghibli, it is straight up Ghibli style. Really help for one guy? No. But I want to see what they were going to do. I can't wait until you collect the different types. You have them on your shirt. Yep. This So this actually reminds me a lot of uh, Golden Sun. Oh, yeah. Because you had to do the same thing with the Jin in that oh, game. Oh, they were called Jin? Yeah. I'll do my best. Whoa. <laughs> Except it looks like it's a little inaccurate when creatures are moving Well, I sideways. still hit it. You still? Yeah, okay. watch. Lasers! I got a Mega Buster! <laughs> nice! Oh, let's see, temp webcam so we can see the shirt. Uh, Doors closed, uh, it's a bit of a mess. But, but, but our mail and other stuff, I need to. We've, we've got convention supplies behind me, but yeah, sure. Why not? Temp, temp webcam to show the shirt off. I think, I think it's functional. Yeah, there it is. Hi, guys. Shirt. It's not honestly that much of a shirt, but it is a shirt here for for this game. I'm probably one of the only people that have has this. I think I don't know. There are more of them on the back side. Uh, there but, are. But yeah. Oh yeah. Yep, that's it. There we go. Shirt. Back to the stream. Back to the game. Take your shirt off. No. No. Okay, uh, what is the, I want to go check out what that boss monster looking thing is. Now I got some of these things. Yeah, I'm just going to fight for a bit. Careful, everyone. I will try and avoid most combat on the open world, maybe, especially once they start getting a little bit low, but, uh, I have this kind of thing where, like, especially early on in a game, I try and actually avoid the plot for at least a little while so I can get, like, a really good feel of the gameplay. Um, I I had that problem with uh, the Sword Art Online game. Come on. Mm -hmm. If you remember uh, my complaints about that and not being able to actually play the game until, like, two hours in and more or less losing my mind as a result of it. I like how they've been staggering the cutscenes in the story. This game has good pacing, yeah. Very uh, good pacing. Much better pacing than a lot of RPGs that I play. And so it feels really satisfying. All right. Oh, now I wonder what happens when you just approach a treasure chest. You probably don't have to I've find already, anything. I've already bunged Hopefully. one open here. Can you jump that, or is it a dead end? Oh, I can't go up there. I've acquired a, a choppy old cloak. An old cloak. What? What? Can you add it to your current outfit? Boosts damage done by swords. And he's got the old cloak. And we don't have any boots or rings. Or necklaces. Or amulets. Yep. I like the chibi overworld. Uh, you know, this game actually kind of reminds me of World of Final Fantasy in terms of tone. Uh, Much yeah. better. Significantly better than World of Final Fantasy in terms of plot. But tonality and whatnot. I don't think I'm actually going to be able to get up to that boss now that I'm looking at it. Yeah. Whatever yeah, that... I think you need to go all the way to the right across the bridge and then there's another bridge. There's a lot of yeah. waterways in this world. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's kind of how a lot of... 
JRPGs do it. They have like uh, obstacles that you will eventually get the ability to uh, go over or through. You know, you get a boat, you get an airship. Victory! Well, battles are becoming faster. Well, yeah, it's you because keep gaining levels. Levels. Watch you become so overpowered, you just plow through all the bosses and stuff. Or does it scale with you? Because these guys aren't scaling. Um, I, somebody said they might scale a little bit. Okay, How's the adventure first. going? Really well. This yeah. is a lovely game. It makes me wonder if most of the fantasy races in this world are animal essentially themes? anthropomorphic yes. uh, animals. I think animals. most of them are going to be animal themed. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything... Uh, so, I saw a, some of the promo images. Do we think we can... Yeah, we can go around. <laughs> no. Uh, maybe behind her house. Whoa, yeah, look at that creature on the hill. Do you see it? No. Oh, left, left. Look to left. the left. Up. Yeah, oh. it's a dragon. Hmm. Maybe? I get the very distinct feeling. I fight that, I die. <laughs> yeah. I die hard. <laughs> Let's see if I can go fight it. Here goes nothing. I, there's got to be a... <laughs> Point where I can, s I think I can maybe save on the overworld, or maybe I, I don't know. I'll see if I can find a spot where I can save before I try and go murder it. <laughs> because if I try and go fight it, I am very dead. Uh, let's see. Uh, ah, map. yeah, it looks majestic. Wait, maps. This I really do wonder save. what the prince's uh, kingmaker will be. Can't wait until we find it. I, I still. Okay, uh, can we, can we get up there? Do we think I can get up there? Uh... Yeah, I can, I can get up there. But I'm gonna go fight it. Check I'm gonna go fight level, me and oh, drink. Level, level 50, 50 no, no! Charge! No! No! When did you sit? What are you doing? Alright, so here's that's what we're going to do. level 50! Going to run away. That's impossible! Mega Buster! Oh shit. Oh, I'm doing one damage at a time here. Okay, no, it's fine. It's uh, fine. We got Kadama. Oh, no. Yeah, they just Evan. killed the prince. Make You're the worst it's okay. president. Good luck. <laughs> the, the worst. Ah! No. How far back are you going to be? You knew. I just wanted you to go up the hill and check out its level. You decided to go ahead. Anyway, we're right back here. Okay, thank I goodness. saved right before. Thank goodness. But now you're gonna have to pick up all the shinies again. No, I don't think I'd picked so up any of them. You can go back to that guy maybe after you've acquired your Kingmaker and have reached level 50, which is. Wow, that's a good, you know, 44 levels away. Much later so. in the game, yes. Probably when I've learned how to block and dodge as opposed to just wailing at things and mur murdering them. Yeah, yeah, going from hamsters to, <laughs> hamsters to a, a dragon. dragon. I mean, if this was... Yeah. Uh, this is, I don't know, it could have followed Dark Souls logic where, like, you could just plink away at it for, like, a couple hours. I did that in, uh, oh, Dragon... If, if you were so good at dodging, you I just... did that in Dragon Quest Builders. Like, there was a dragon you're not supposed to fight at the time. And I was just like, oh, I've got, nice. like, a bunch of wooden hmm. swords and nothing better to do. Let's kill some dragons. Turns out the dragons in that game didn't move, so they were ludicrously easy to fight. How much loot is that? Ah! I, I forget what MMOs I was playing at the time, but I remember taking out a higher level creature and I had to pretty much use as many skill blocking effects, uh, stealth, shields, you name it. And I was able to survive, but oh man, I, I I don't think that's feasible for I got this. a pair of Detox Simple Slippers. Oh good. That'll help with the foot fungus problems. <laughs> Slightly boost resistance to poison. Oh. Okay. Oh boy. Um, my favorite is actually in the Dark Souls series. If you want to, you never actually have to level up. Uh, huh. So you can just go through the entire game at like base level with just like basic weapons. It just takes longer. Wait, so you have to manually level? Yeah, or what? yeah, it's oh, okay. it's a manual. You spend currency effectively to level up instead. A whamster pranger. That oh, guy's I can, a slightly higher level. I can jump in here. <laughs> yeah, it was slightly higher level compared to me being a fairly reasonably. Mm -hmm. I'm level seven at this point. We're gonna hit. Let's get up to level fifty. Nope. So what was the thing I just got? Probably just an item. Ah, 6th Sensor. Restores MP. 
Okay. Which I am never going to use those items probably because you get MP Can't back just by hitting things. So like me Whoa. Yeah. Me being Was that me, your special skill? Yeah. Uh the big sweeping sword strike is my only skill, flatliner. Oh, that's the flatliner. Yeah. It's uh pretty effective, especially if you're three levels above. Watch your backs. So we have Whoop. Yeah, I took all oh no, all of them. Victory. A Namco employee hanging out in chat, by the way. Hello. It's probably maybe Cyrus, maybe not Cyrus. I don't know. Anyway, welcome, and uh thank you for publishing this game. It is lovely. Now that looks like a special chest. Yeah. It's blue and this it has is additional why I, oh, sparkles it's around. Locked. <gasps> it's locked. No. Ah, it's not Cyrus. Okay. I just know Cyrus is the one that uh, specifically coordinated the trip, so I figured eh, it might be. Yep, for your for your visit. Yeah, it was fun visiting. It was weird. That was a weird day. I guess I should probably mention, because uh, I might I might talk about this a little bit, but I got to visit the uh, Namco US. Not maybe not headquarters. I don't know. One of the offices. offices. Yeah. I don't know how many offices they have. Uh, I only know of the one in San Francisco. So San Jose that you went to. Yeah, sorry. They're practically the same city from my perspective. Wait, what? The what? Public... Why are you approaching the dragon again? I want to see if there are any other treasure chests, like, hanging out around Around here. it? Yeah. <laughs> you you know, if I could, that? like, sneak in and grab, like, a high-level sword. I don't remember which RPG I played, but, like, there was... Well, Dark Souls again. If you shot the uh, dragon's tail off, you got the dragon sword really early. This? Which ultimately wasn't exactly the uh, the best weapon because it didn't scale with your stats, but you could get that like after the first boss, and it did twice as much damage as pretty much anything else. Well, I really like the little Kojama creatures. I I can't wait until you get the other elemental variety ones. Yeah, I think at some point we should actually sit down and play the uh, first uh, Nino Kuni game. Are they very similar? I uh, thought they were different. No, stories. they're they're completely different stories. Uh, oh. Oh. There's uh, another dragony looking thing up there. Um Watch your backs. But uh <laughs> the previous one was a was more of a Pokemon style game. Monster collection and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the fact that we jump between monsters. Uh so like if I press the X button, my character will uh do a short hop and hit them instead. Which is incredibly nice. Can we get to the bridge? Yeah, no, we we can go progress. I've I've had my fun. Now we can we can actually do things. I just I like exploring, uh, if it gives me the opportunity to do so. I understand. It's just I also want to see who we'll encounter next. That's true. Because I think at this point we've only since escaping the castle and losing Nella, we've only really met with uh, Martha. How would you feel, by the way, if we got to level fifty and the dragon just goes down and as many hits as it takes me to kill these hamsters? That would be funny. <laughs> that would be really funny. <laughs> it does look like I'm leveling really fast, like regardless of how low level these guys are. I It's interesting how there's, you know, quantifiable skill numbers when it comes to games and I know that there's probably Come tests on. where people <laughs> that people could take to t test their own acuity, but imagine if you could level up at the rate you do in a video game. I Man. I like to think about that. Like, I, I don't know. I want to write a book at some point that's just like... Video game logic? Yeah. And apply to real life? Or... Maybe not real life, but like real life adjacent. Mm -hmm. Like, you know how like uh, Final Fantasy, for example, has kind of a mix? It'd be something like that. Uh, let's see. Hey, Wanderbot, I'm sure you have no idea who I am, but it's nice to see how much you've grown. Remember when you were doing Witch in the Hundred Night and stuff? Speaking of, I'm going to be doing Witch in the Hundred Night tonight. <laughs> also, that is a giant ooze in the middle of the lake. That is. River. We're probably going to have to fight it when we get a boat. It's also probably level 50 thing. Considering no, it's it probably going to be less than level 50. Maybe level 20. Yeah, I'm betting, I'm betting like 30, 40, give or take. Oh, items don't disappear very fast on the overworld. But yeah, I love it when uh, people drop by to say nice things. <laughs> Namco employees, or just random viewers. <laughs> what about the ears? Oh, I don't mind at all. Yes, they're real. I'm half Grimalkin, ah. you know. Interesting. You don't get many cat-eared kings where I come from. 
And when you do, well, they're usually not king for long. <laughs> or they're in an anime. There's some weird, weird anime precedents. Do we go into the cave? The grotty grotto? Grotty grotto? Let's go to the grotty grotto! <laughs> now, check their levels before you go... Uh, level, level 9? Level 9 Whamster. I'm level 8! I can do this! Whee! Oh, the whole area is a... Yeah, well, this is an explorable arena. zone as opposed to the overworld. Okay. Yeah, that so that, that puts us in a fine spot. I hope there's uh, more than just swords in this game. I'd like to see weapons with different attack patterns. Like, uh, slower hitting attack uh, axes and stuff, or like, fast daggers. Because I know there's multiple types of... Uh... You got a carrot. In the cavern. Yeah. And a crystal. In the cavern. Crystals make sense. Carrot? Uh, well, no, I mean, it's underground. Kind of makes sense. Well, time to explore. Ooh, save stone. Ooh. And a door? I got a damp wizard's wand. Hey, kid, I got a wet stick for you. Uh... <laughs> oh, apparently I have a lot of them. Should probably over... Uh, no, we haven't actually found any better weapons, honestly. Odd to see Nino Kuni not be turn-based. I'm actually kind of glad this... This has a very good game feel to it. Okay, so before you approach the door... Save? Well, save, but then also I think there are some sparklies in the area. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's at least one, one in the back, right? in the corner. I bet the door is something, like, post-game. Maybe you have to unlock it later? Yeah. Or it's a super mystical door. Uh, I'll get the other one in a second. The strange door gives off an eerie aura, but you can't open it. It's locked tight. Okay, so maybe we'll find a magic item that will be able to unlock it, or an individual that has the ability to. I always like that, where a door is clearly a portal, but it's just, you know, a very thin slab of wood, but there's so much beyond it. Yeah. Oh, cave paintings. What are they depicting? Jellyfish? Aliens? Yeah, weird, like, creepy jelly alien eye things. Dunno. Be interesting if we encounter creatures similar to that. Yeah. Now, on the topic of uh, gameplay, you know, Nino Kuni 1 versus this, mm -hmm. I really would like to play a monster collection game at some point where the monsters fight in real time next to you. Ah, uh, uh-huh. Like, Digimon, the Digimon World games do that, but you're not fighting. If I could have, like, this gameplay with this character, but I'm recruiting monsters to, like, run around and fight at the same time as me. You essentially want hunter pets from most games. Yeah. That are MMOs. But, like, with things. better RPG mechanics, because, like, I don't like our, I don't like MMOs that much. Well, that's because the AI for the creatures is... tends to be subpar. Yeah, and there's no customization. They, us they usually fall into, like, three categories, and ultimately it's just, like... Like, Frost Wolf, Fire Wolf. Yeah. Come on! The other problem I have with, like, hunter pets is, like, they're inherently, they don't make you any more, like, powerful than, say, a person that's playing as a mage or a warlock or whatever. Mm-hmm. But remember, if you're making it the main mechanic of the game, then there's a lot more that could be extra extrapolated upon. Yeah, exactly. I think some Shin Megami Tensei games do that. Kinda? Watch your backs! Uh, you know what game actually does that? Hmm? And it's not a game that, I don't know if I'll ever play it. But the second Tales of Symphonia game did that, now that ah. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> it wasn't very good. It was, unfortunately, a, uh... It was it like a, a B-plot. Uh, to the, the previous game. Kind of sequel, but focused around a completely different character. Uh, and so instead of having party members, you had, uh, monsters that you could collect. And I eventually just discovered bears could one-shot everything, no matter what level they were. Bears. So I just had an army of bears. Yeah. It mm -hmm. was... maybe... Can the other bridges over to the right or Actually, I yeah. already got past the two waterways. Now, those red marks, are those the enemy? Yeah. Uh, or are they just high-level no, creatures? No, there's something. I want to go check it out. Oh, got spotted. I know. I'm... Kind of doing it intentionally because I can one-shot like most of them. Up. Well, yeah. Now has uh, Evan been leveling with you? Yeah. Okay, that's good. I don't like it when you have to use the character that you want to level. 
because uh, then yeah. there's the possibility that the other character will not level up with yep. you and so uh, Roland's level uh, Ready, nine this? and Evan is level eight. Mm -hmm. So one behind, not a big deal. Rings, yeah. It's I'm not bothering with equipment management as much. Like I know we keep getting new new bits of gear. It just hasn't mattered yet. <laughs> we out, we have vastly out leveled everything. Ooh, travel point. Have you gotten any like amulets and rings? Yes, yet? I got a I got a ring. I've gotten some boots. I'll do my best. Boots. Okay. There so we you're go. going to find sky pirates. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I love this battlefield. Mm -hmm. There's also like v okay, almost yeah. no loading. There those seems are to be a guards. palace. And those oh. are mouse guards. Is that a mouse kingdom or a smaller? No, that's the kingdom. That's Ding Dong Dell. That's Ding Dong Dell. Oh, so yeah, don't yeah, go back. Yeah, we just popped out over there. What if I do? No. Uh, I don't think we want to go any closer to Ding Dong Dell. Okay. Yep. I was Wait. just curious. You just went through the sewers and the waterways to escape them, so. I know. But at this point, I'm feeling pretty strong. Well, I bet you return to the kingdom and everything is level 50. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I'm sure. I'm sure we're going to get back there and it's going to be uh, level appropriate. But it'd be real funny <laughs> if it wasn't. Yeah, it looks like uh, the entire kingdom is just covered in guards. I'll do my best. I wonder if when you get the Kingmakers, if... Ah, oh, it would be really cool if you could actually control, like, your summon Kingmaker in a boss battle of some sort. You might be able to. I... I don't know. I, I hate to speculate, because speculation makes me, uh, disappointed when it turns out I'm wrong. Oh. Speculating is what I love to do most about series that I'm watching. Okay. Yeah, it's off to the right. I'm trying to... Re well... There's another grotto, if you want to try that one. Uh... Oh, yeah, there is. I'll check it out. I... I'm just kind of wandering around trying to find treasure chests and crafting materials, because... That looks like another locked one, unfortunately. Uh, that one is, yes. But there's another one in the middle of the, uh... Middle of the grove of trees? Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> it also helps that I have a move that hits every enemy. I think I would be significantly less interested in fighting everything if I didn't just completely plow through their numbers. <laughs> uh, but like, this way I can just nuke half of them, no problem. All right, what was okay. in there? An I'll, I'll be, be gone. gone. Is that gonna be? Rub it on your foes and they'll disappear forever. <laughs> it's honestly pretty A villainous. Swirly apple. Yeah, I Here the all be gone nothing. is probably just a cure for status effects. Yeah. But yeah, this is a very tales of game, but I don't mind. I actually really enjoy it. I think part of it is so I really like the tales of series, but I think the transition to full 3D uh cuz they originally had a much more cartoony style. Oh, okay. I think the transition, I don't know if I can go in this one. Not from this side anyway. Yeah. Uh, maybe maybe from the other side, but maybe not. A goo. Goo, unfortunately it's faster than me. Um so the transition to 3D uh was not exactly kind to the Tales of games. Because they kind of like kept a a cell shaded character look, mm -hmm. but the environments kind of tended to be slightly more realistic. Which meant like, imagine if this was a featureless gray field. Ew. Yeah. Uh, cause like, you can't spend that much budget on like your, your randomly generated battlefields-ish. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could. Wait, they were randomly generated? Uh, kind of like pull from the environment you're in, but it always just looked a little low quality. Cause like, you know, you don't need good scenery for, for a JRPG battle. You should be focusing on a fight, but it looked really dated. Uh, I played Come Zestiria. On. And the, the battle-like environment just looked really dated compared to practically anything else yeah. at the time. I and remember, so yeah, I remember when I was young and uh, there, it was the GameCube craze had come around and we just had our Nintendo 64 and Atari. 
and PC for playing games, and I was envious of the fact that all my other friends were playing uh, the new Super Smash Brothers Melee, <laughs> and the new Mario Karts, and the new Mario Parties, and all the things that we had on Nintendo 64, but the newer ones. And uh, I remember looking around at GameStop, and I think that was when the Tales of Symphonia with the like the purple clad ninja girl and a couple yeah, other characters. Yeah, that's Tales of Symphonia. That's Tales of Symphonia? Yep. And I really wanted to get a GameCube for that. I oh. I got a GameCube for it. And you did. I, yeah, I don't regret it. I was getting we Nintendo get Power no, because I got a year subscription. Uh, I got a year subscription to Nintendo Power through my school. Mm. And they had Smash Brothers and Tales of Symphonia and a couple other things. And I'm like, I need this. <laughs> and I, I got it. And it was worth it. 